Hello, uh, Jay Honcho back with you on Scrap Station. Um, this is going to be another use of Blink. Uh, I'm up at the 12 o'clock position as the Red Protoss versus Danimal at the round, the uh, almost, so two, let's say, two o'clock position as the Blue Zerg. Uh, we exchange pleasantries, which is, uh, which I like to do. I'm going to be going a 14 um, gateway at my choke, and he's going to go uh, a 10 pull using the extractor trick. So we can just speed through this, nothing really important or um, groundbreaking about it. He does get one quick on an extractor, which I thought he did the trick, but apparently not. So I'm going to go zipping around here, and he gets another extractor. He's got two in that one, one in this one, and he kills my probe because I thought I could kill him. It was really close, but uh, not quite. So we can get this back up to six. He gets a couple Zerglings out, and let's see what he's got up here. He's got two Zerglings. Now, I thought I had walled this off, and this was going to be the choke point um, between the, these gateways, but apparently not. So um, he dies without doing any damage because he tries to run away, and he's going to start attacking the lone gas worker. And I see this, and I decide to take all the probes from the back instead of the one right next to him. So he does no damage except for getting me off of the um, minerals for just a moment. And he gets his queen out, and his queen's just going to stand there just like the rest of these drones. He finally gets to a lair, and then he might inject. There he goes. So he injects with nine energy on the queen, and look at that. Um, he's got something around the lines, something along the lines of eight more zerglings coming at me. So let's give them time to get around the map. Meanwhile, I have one Zealot going across. I Chrono Boost a Stalker, and I do fix my mistake, I think. So the, he kills my Zealot. No, I don't. Oh, my. Look at that. He kills one probe. And I, I'm going to start making my Stalker go all the way back to these Proton Cannons, which I had assumed, since he had two guests, he was going to go to Mutas why I put them there and not back here is a mystery. So the stalkers want to help out um, getting everything back up to, to par. So I'm going to put stuff in the gas and I'm still running off of one gas and mind you this is a blink stalker um, demo. Now here I fix my mistake this time so he can't run around. Um, and I ask him how long he'll do this and he has a lair but he doesn't have much else. He gets some static defenses here and here. Other than that he's not doing much. He still has a, drown, a drone lo lounging around. He's got a lair though. He's getting a roach worn, and he's still got one on the, this gas, and I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure what's going through his head. Right now, I am distinctly in the head, ahead of in the army count, but that's about it. So we can skip through here. This is just in case he decides to get cute and Nidus is me or anything like that. So he's going to send some more Zerglings, so above and beyond that. It's pretty cut and dried. I just want to get to the, the fun part, which is the blink. Uh, because it is uh, very startling. Um, it's like a drop, but you don't need all the transports, all the warp prisms in this case. I do have one, but that's for a different purpose. So he get, he runs up here with 12 Zerglings, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. He comes back, thinks better of it. Meanwhile, his Roach, having traversed the entire length of the map, um, finally gets to the rest of the Zerglings and has to make all the trip all the way back. So, it's not really worth it for him. So he goes in, backs out, and he just looks like he's saving him for a hatchery with 16 drones. Soon to be 15. I have 32. And look, even three of his are not doing anything. He needs to run a tighter ship. He does get a hydrodent up, um, which he will be producing a lot of hydras. Meanwhile, I'm keeping my minerals kind of low, I finally get to the robotics facility for observers to see what he's up to, as well as to give me vision to this island. Um, I want this zealot to be with his other zealot buddies at some point, but it doesn't work too well. Um, he's going to build an extractor before his hatchery finishes. Typically you want to do it a little bit later than that, maybe when it's 75% done. And he's going to build another extractor, I think. Either that or he's going to start mining or something. He's keeping his minerals ridiculously low as well. He's got a lot, a lot, a lot of Vespine saved up from his one worker and his two workers on the gas. So he's going to start pumping Hydras out left and right. Meanwhile, I'm still doing fairly well with my resources. Income-wise, I'm crushing them clearly because I have um, something on the order of over.
over twice what he has. Um, he has his overlord all in one spot, ready to be picked off, if I so desire, with phoenixes or whatever. Um, and this goes back to a, a discussion I had uh, briefly on the Team Liquid forums that um, phoenixes uh, can really disrupt the Zerg economy if you don't have hydras you know, in, within striking distance. Six phoenixes can lay waste to two queens uh, without a casualty quickly using three gra graviton beams and then pick up as many drones as they can muster. In addition, they can be used for um, overlord sniping. So I had thought that um, a queen should be changed to a uh, massive tag. And that would also... Um, by, I don't know if you can have three tag not, but if that's the case, then you, you eliminate the transfuse queen, transfuse queen, transfuse queen. Either that or everything in Zerg has to be biological. I don't know. So, meanwhile, I'm slowly building up uh, some stalkers, getting supply blocked. Oh, warp prism, don't go that way. Turn around. Now this I brought to bolster my attack. Um, when I blink in, I want to blink in some or warp in some zealots as well because they are strong. I did uh, eventually get some uh, charge lots. I think I already, yeah, I already got them. So I'm gonna start uh, or getting that 